Hello, I'm Jennifer Boykin. In the midst of this national health crisis, I ask that you take a moment to pause and to think about the importance of what we do every day as shipbuilders. We have been deemed mission essential to our nation. Some of you have asked why, and I want to offer this perspective today. The work we do is critical, and in many ways, it's also invisible. Our nation's aircraft carriers and submarines are born at Newport News Shipbuilding, and we are all rightfully proud of this. But construction is only the beginning of their stories. When we hear about critical missions one of our ships performs around the globe, there's usually no mention of her shipbuilders, because our ships are doing exactly what we built them to do and they are performing as they are expected to perform. But what would happen if this weren't the case, if we did not live up to the expectation of always good ships, the value on which our company is founded? I'm bringing this message today because as shipbuilders, this week is one we can never forget. This week marks the 57th anniversary of the tragic sinking of the submarine USS Thresher a story that every shipbuilder needs to know and pass down to those who follow us. On April 10, 1963, Thresher began a dive to test depth as part of her sea trials. At 9.13 a.m., the crew reported they were experiencing minor difficulties. At approximately 9.15 a.m., communications with the submarine were lost and all 129 on board officers, crews, and civilians perished. The Congressional Board of Inquiry ultimately concluded that the loss of Thresher was most likely the result of a failed piping joint, a failure which began a series of events ultimately resulting in the ship's inability to maintain propulsion or to effectively blow seawater from her ballast tanks and return to the surface. Although Thresher was not built by Newport News Shipbuilding, her story serves as a steadfast reminder to all of us about the critical importance of the quality work we do. Thresher's loss marked the first time a U.S. nuclear submarine succumbed to the sea, and this event forever transformed the submarine manufacturing industry for the better. Less than two months after the tragedy, the Navy established the Submarine Safety Program to ensure that all the lessons learned from Thresher carry forward and that new standards in submarine design, construction practices, and quality assurance programs were established, ultimately ensuring those lost on board Thresher did not die in vain. The new standards, known as SubSafe, is what we use to build and maintain submarines today. Submarines that include our new construction submarines, like Montana, which is completing construction and will head into her own sea trials soon. USS Helena and USS Columbus, both in our yard today, undergoing maintenance work so that they can return to the Navy to serve critical missions around the world. And USS Delaware, which was commissioned into service just last weekend. With no fanfare, no celebration, Delaware just silently joined the fleet because more than ever, our Navy needs these aircraft carriers and submarines. And they know we will do everything we can to answer the call. This includes our work in New York at the Kessel Ring site, where Navy sailors become trained to operate these nuclear ships. Without this work, the ships don't sail. Answering the call is why our work is mission critical, not just during a crisis, but every day. In my role, I am privileged to ride every initial sea trial for every submarine and every aircraft carrier we build and overhaul. And I go with full confidence because I trust your work and I know that the lessons we learn from Thresher are guiding us today to produce the highest quality, most complex ships for our United States Navy. I hope the Thresher story will serve as a reminder to why doing our best each and every day matters at work, at home, in our communities, everywhere. Because whether we are building ships or navigating a national health crisis, we are all in this together. I remain committed to keeping you safe and keeping our business open for as long as we can safely operate. 
And no matter what tomorrow brings, we will continue to learn and to become stronger, just as we did after the tragedy of the submarine thresher. So if you would, please join me in a moment of silence on Friday, April 10th, as we sound the shipyard whistle at 9.15 a.m. for 57 seconds, no matter where you are, as we remember the 129 lives lost aboard USS Thresher 57 years ago. Thank you for everything you do to keep yourselves, your families, your teammates, and our sailors safe.